How's it going guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and today I'm going to be using my hero team to take on a Tech Super Saiyan from Goku event. Mixing it up a little, I'm going to be using one of the weaker teams in the game. Well, it's weaker for me just because I do have the Vegito Elite, which doesn't give as much of a significant boost when he did when he was awakened, of course, because he now, um, because now, pardon me, he gives 2 key as well as a 40% stat boost. Well, to be fair, there isn't that much of a difference, just an additional key and 10%. So, we should be fine. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. Of course, at some point, I am going to go ahead and farm a Tech Super Saiyan Goku Super Attack. But for now, this is what I am going to be using for the most part. Just on Awakened Team, just to make the game a bit more challenging. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as well, because I'm definitely having a lot of fun. Pissing them together, and I should probably breathe now, because I've just talked a lot about breathing. But yeah, um, let's see how far we can get with this team. Honestly, it may be a bit harder, just because we are going to have a tight disadvantage with a Gito. But again, the majority of our team is 100% in the potential system. And like in the previous video, where I used my tech team, it shouldn't be that hard, because again, um, my team was at... 100% and it's the same for this one for the most part. So it's going to be a bit of a difference of course in terms of damage Especially because we are on a lead that doesn't give that much of a boost in comparison to the previous team So honestly, I think I'm maybe overestimate um, overestimating the team, which is something that I shouldn't be doing Yeah, I don't even think we are going to take this stage out Like his attack stat is significantly lower in comparison to my tech type team. Yeah I think we are definitely going to struggle a bit. I got pretty lucky here because I got the additional super attack but once we get to the, um, that last stage, that is where I'm going to have to be super conservative with my items because he just has that KO, um, KO attack, which is just going to wipe me out in one hit. Right, so let's go over this. And yeah, this is where some of the problems are going to start to arise because, again, the main link that is shared here between the majority of these units is prepared for battle. Well, I got super lucky here. Now, let's see what Vegito can do. I mean, when it comes to tanking, he isn't going to be as good as the Awakened one just because his defensive stat is significantly lower, but he should still be pretty solid. I was going to say we do have the debuff from Vegeta, but that only applies to extreme types, and he got the additional super attack. That's all awesome. I legit can't speak. I kind of woke up, so my apologies if I can't construct sentences at certain points in the video. Now we have the Vegeta. I kind of wish I made a super attack a bit different because... I feel like the Gallic Gun is just super generic at this point. I, I just feel like I've seen it a lot now, but yeah. Wow, that attack stat is pretty damn low. To be fair, this Vegito just may not be that good when it comes to the potential system, which is what adds to it, of course. May not even be at Super Attack 10, but like my Vegito, he decided to get that additional Super Attack, which was actually the last one like that was capable of going off. Right, so who do we have here? We have a Gito, Gogeta, and we also have... Well, we have two Gogetas, actually. No super attack there. No super attack there. Wow. See what I mean? This is the issues that could potentially arise with this team. And honestly, I'm going to go over this. No super attack for Gogeta, of course. Going to go ahead and quickly use my item. So that's the first item used. But trust me, in the later stages, that is definitely going to change. To be fair, this is definitely one of the easier Doken events, so I shouldn't have that much of a problem. But without the counters, or the critical counters, I should say, Vegito is not going to do much here. Vegito, that's a different story, but I actually really like that Super Attack mechanic, or Super Attack animation. Did it get a crit there? Now, this is the stage that I despise the most, and yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use a Weez here. Because this stage, like, hits so damn hard. And when you have the Goku, like, just attacking, like, one particular situation, that is where, um, that is where a few problems can arise. Especially when you have a unit that can't tank that well. Granted, Vegito does have debuffing, but when he's on Awaken, that just isn't going to be that great. And his counters aren't going to do that much damage because he isn't Awaken. And, of course, he will be doing a decent amount if he gets the crits, but it depends on the RNG, of course. Right, can we get an additional super attack? So that's the first super attack. We get a second super attack to go off. I mentioned this in the previous video. I'm not really a big fan of that Spirit Sword super attack animation. I kind of reused it with Ella Black and Zamasu. Kind of wish they didn't because I kind of feel like the animation for the Ella Black and Zamasu is kind of underwhelming. Honestly, I think the 12 key is much better. I think I could have done way more of it, but I don't know. I guess they were kind of lazy with it, which is unfortunate because it's my favorite LR in the game. Right, now we have the Gohan. Oh dear. Low key. Gohan Unawakened may not be the best for this team. Hmm. Um. I think I should be fine here. That's a big if. Honestly, with the type advantage with Gogeta and then 
Vegito's ability to tank, I think we should be fine, even if, even if we do get super attacks. I think we should have enough health to survive that little amount. Alright, so now I'm going with Vegito. And it's crazy to see how high his attack stat is, despite we're getting that much of an increase. So tanking that first hit perfectly fine. Not that much damage with the counter. And I still haven't been super attacked. Okay, I've been pretty lucky here. Did manage to get the crit. Now it's down to Vegito. Alright, so that's the first super attack. That's the second super attack. I'm getting like so many super attacks now that I'm using this on Awakened team. And no third. Right, now to think about the rotations that I won. Um, honestly. It may not be beneficial to keep the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta around just because he probably won't be able to super attack that consistently. And because of the type, I mean, he would have a type advantage, but it doesn't matter that much if you can't get the super attacks to go off. I think the biggest problem that I'm going to have is, you know, surviving because he can hit so damn hard during this last stage. And if I don't kill him in time, that's pretty much it for me. Right, so I need to make a big decision here. Because you have to keep in mind that Vegito doesn't have shocking speed before he's awakened, so he's not providing that key for Gohan. I want to keep Gogeta around, but I'd, like, I'd rather have the counters with Gogeta, and I'm taking a bit of a risk here, so I kind of want to usher, but at the same time, I don't. I think if I get super attacks, I'm done. I don't... You know what? I have two ushers left. I'm going to go with this. I, um, or I have one Whis left. I have two ushers left. I was going to just avoid the super or the attacks altogether, but I kind of want to get the counters off just so I can put as much damage in as I can. But Gohan should be able to tank the majority of these attacks, and he doesn't really super attack that frequently when it comes to this first you know, like rotation, so I should be fine here. But if Vegito doesn't get any crits, this is where I could encounter a few problems. So 100k per crit. Not the worst, but not the greatest by any means. But who do I want to get the Doka mode with? 22k. Oh, this is a bad decision. This was a bad decision. I should have kept Vegeta around, shouldn't I? Yep, there it is. Oh, dear. I was really relying on those counters. But I believe that the Whis is still active. So we have that at the very least. Let's go with this. And we have the Super Sacks with Vegito as well. Only 144,000 health. I don't think we would die if we get super attacks, but it would be pretty close. We are going to get a Doken mode. Like, oh my god, Gohan is actually so bad in this team. Like, he isn't getting sufficient orbs. He isn't self-sufficient as a Transcendent Ultra Rare. He doesn't have Colossal Damage. Oh, no, Gohan. I mean, he's still very good, but because he isn't get, you know, he isn't getting those orbs from Trunks, he definitely does suffer a little. He isn't even hitting for 300k. Like, in comparison to his LR form, that is pretty damn low. What can Gogeta do here? I think he's by far hardest hitter on his team. STL Gogeta's pretty close, and he gets the additional super attack. Okay, definitely helping us out, um, out a bit here. Is it going to be a crit, though? It is going to be a crit. Gogeta coming in clutch. And it's a crit. This can be done right now. Okay, it's going to come down to Vegito. Gogeta coming in with that clutch counter. Okay. Is it going to be enough to take him out, though? It's going to be close. It depends on whether or not he charges up. I think he is. I have to finish him off this turn. Who do I use? Um, I'm going to heal up just in case. To be fair, this wasn't as hard as I thought it would have been. I think I've done it. I, that was about to be the worst thing I could have said. <laughs> pause. Just pause. I think we are going to take him out here, though. With the Doka mode. Okay, this is perfect. Here we go, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Too. I was, I honestly under, I am um, honestly underestimated his team. I thought it was definitely going to be a lot tougher. I was like, okay, I'm not getting that much of a boost from the leads. I mean, I do have several 100% units. Maybe I, mm, nah, let's not do that. Because the point of this is to use unawakened units, but the best ones that I have. It just comes down to the fact that the event just simply isn't that hard. Of course, I did struggle with the majority of the other events, so it just comes down to the fact that this one isn't too hard, and I use a pretty solid team. I think if I used maybe agility, I definitely would have struggled. Physical, probably would have struggled here and there. I think I definitely would have struggled with at least one of the teams. It just came down to the fact that I used one of the most overpowered teams in my scenario, so I didn't even know what to expect. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a great day as always, and I will see you all in the next one.